Two monarchs, cousins, pitted against one another by history, politics, and religion. Elisabetta is considering a marriage proposal from the King of France, a strategic alliance, but her real affections lie with Roberto, Earl of Leicester. Unfortunately, Roberto, because the course of true love never did run smooth, is in love with someone else. That someone? Maria Stuarda, Mary, Queen of Scots. Maria, who has been imprisoned for many years, suspected of conspiring in a plot to assassinate Elisabetta, writes to her cousin, pleading for a meeting to assert her innocence. Despite her jealousy of Roberto's love for Maria, Elisabetta agrees to the meeting. A meeting is arranged in the grounds of Fotheringay Castle, where Maria is being held captive. Maria is resolved to treat her cousin with respect and deference. But when she is subjected to a litany of abuse from Elisabetta, Maria loses her temper. That's it. Elisabetta vows to have Maria executed. Once Elisabetta has had a chance to calm down, she's not so sure about this whole execution situation. But the pressure is on from her assistant Cecil. Oh look, it's Roberto, and it's very bad timing. Seeing Roberto kindles Elisabetta's jealousy. Without a second thought, she signs the death warrant, sealing her cousin's fate. She orders Roberto to be present at the execution. A gloating Cecil and a more sympathetic Talbot inform Maria of her impending execution. Denied a Catholic confession, Maria unburdens her final confession to Talbot, making a startling admission of her role in the assassination plot against her cousin. All too soon, the day of Maria's execution dawns. At the sound of the first cannon, Maria is led out to the scaffold where she is to be beheaded. At the sound of the second cannon, Maria assures her supporters that she is leaving for a better place. She bids farewell to Roberto. At the sound of the third cannon, Maria ascends the scaffold, ready to meet her death. Her loyal supporters are left to mourn their beloved leader, Mary, Queen of Scots.